Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be testing out the camera quality and the functions of the camera. Uh, we've got the iPhone X here and uh, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So the cool thing about the Samsung is, if you see the back camera, it's got a dual camera, so does the iPhone X. But the other feature it has is this camera here changes its aperture so it'll go from 2.4 to 1.5 which is quite nice and it'll do it automatically so if you're walking for example from a light room to a dark room it'll change its aperture and it'll continuously look bright on the video so it actually um so it's like the human eye so when it's light your pupils are quite small so when it comes to night time the pupils go big so you can see, get more light coming through so this is basically what uh, Samsung has done as well so with the iPhone it actually doesn't have that feature so we're going to compare these two phones and see how the difference look in the real world so I'm just going to go in my room I'm just going through the light section to the darker section of the room and see how it compares and I'll also be doing some tests with some photos and I'll be also doing videos as well just to show you guys what both of them can, what they are capable of doing. So uh, we've got the Samsung on the bottom there and the iPhone and you will see the difference now. So at the moment we're in a light area so if we carry on walking you'll see the Samsung gets a lot better so you can see more light coming through Samsung and you can tell once it changes its aperture so if you go down here, you can see the difference. It's quite... It's quite cool how it works with the Samsung devices. So, for example, if I go down here... Sorry about the mess as well. So you can see with the iPhone one, it's gone a lot darker. And then on Samsung, you can see it still brings in a lot more light. So I'll do another one whilst recording as well. So this time I'm going to actually record it and see how it is. So I've gone to video mode on this one. So at the moment I'm on 4K. So what I'm going to do is just check that this one is also on 4K. So that will be a lot fairer test. So picture size will do this since it is a wide camera. So that's the picture size. And then video size will go up to 4K. 60 frames so obviously this one does uh, this one does 60 frames per second in 4k so i'll change that one to 60 frames per second 4k as well auto okay so picture size so this is for the front camera so we'll have a, a wide one as well and then quad hd so that should be fine for now there we go so now both will be now on 4k and this time i'm going to take a video and show you guys how it looks so there we go there we go so now we're recording and let's see how it works so you can see the iphone's already gone dark to the point it's gone quite really bad but the samsung has a lot more light still coming through so if we, even if we go here, so you can see the cups, the Eiffel Tower is still um, a lot brighter to see, but on the iPhone you can't really tell as much. So even from further away it's still quite good. So you can see here the drawer is there as well. On the iPhone it's a lot darker, so you can't even see. It has gone quite dark in fairness. Uh, so if I do that then that's the Samsung they're recording. Well, from the iPhone to Samsung, but this both here set together, and the Samsung one's a lot brighter, which is quite nice. So I thought I'd do that test there for you guys. So if we're gonna take a photo shot now, so um, I just wanted to show you guys a quick thing right now. So on the iPhone, you can see taking a normal photo, you can see quite a bit. So the TV all the way down to the radiator, but if I want to do the same thing, um. But there, it's only just the TV for some reason. But then again, if you see this button, uh, this one, the yellow one there, if you press that, it'll go to a normal mode. So how the iPhone is. So you'll get the exact same amount. So if you put it up to wide mode, it'll uh, crop it quite a bit for some reason. So it's probably better having it like this. So that way you'll get actually more light, I believe. So if you want to take a video, you'll get more better quality out of it. 
So I'll just take a photo of both and I'll uh, put that onto the video and you'll see what the difference is. There we go. And then we'll take another photo in the darker area. So if we go down here, for example, so if I take a photo of this, you can see there's the iron and some bits and bobs. So if I take a photo there. So you can see already with the Samsung, you're getting a lot more light coming through. And with the iPhone, because it doesn't have the, um, you can't change the aperture. But with this one, you can, it automatically changes to f1.5 to f2.4, which is quite good. So it lets in more light at night. And with this one, obviously, it doesn't change, so it's stuck to what it is. And that's the photo you'll get. So with the Samsung, it's a lot better quality you get out of it as well. So I'm going to take another video shot, but this time without the wide full screen. So trying to do it, well, we're going to have this box only. So we'll do another one. So now we're going to take a video without the full screen on the Samsung Galaxy S9. So I'm going to have it just this normal box. And then I'm going to have the iPhone doing the same thing. So it's still at the same 4K with 60 frames per second. And uh, already you can see the Samsung is a lot brighter. And the iPhone one has gone a bit dark because obviously he, my brother there, he's gone to a darker room. So just going to record that and see how it changes with the Samsung as well and the iPhone. So you can see just as I hit the record button, I actually zoomed in. So you can see just as I hit the record button, I actually zoomed in. So once we start walking, so you can see this iPhone has already gone darker, but the Samsung is still getting more light in. But the only thing with the Samsung is it actually changes. So if you can see the skin tone and everything, it actually changes it quite a bit. So it's like having that uh, the beauty shot uh, when you could take a beauty photo so um it just highlights everything but on the iphone it's gone completely dark so you can't really see but you can adjust the thing here so you can make it a bit brighter so you can see but then if you have autofocus on it actually just goes dark so by brightening it up it'll go more brighter and with this one you can also do the same thing So you can have more light or about medium. So same thing. So Samsung's doing quite well with the photo. But on video wise, you can see the iPhone is still keeping the same kind of video well, where it's actually showing. So if you compare the both the cheeks here, you can see this one's gone more softer and this one is still a bit more realistic, but it's gone grainy. So I just want to show you guys that video there. So I'm going to be taking some outside photos. So you can see uh, the Samsung makes the grass look a lot more greener than it should be. And then with the iPhone, it's a lot more realistic color. So if you see that, you can see, I don't know if you can sort of, you can just about see, you can, well, it does make it look nice, but it's just more darker than it should be. So if I take a photo, There you go, and you guys can see that. And then the next one I want to do is if I do the sky and the shed. They both actually come out really nice. Uh, they both have HDR as well. So that one's got HDR on already. And this one has HDR. Oh, sorry. So this one does it automatically. But I think you can change it just to have it always on. But I prefer it automatically because sometimes um, with the HDR off, you still get some nice photo shots. So if we do this one. And then I'm going to do a zoom version as well. So if I do that, there we go. So now they're both using the second camera. They both really do have good qualities. All it is with the Samsung, it's a bit more saturated, the color, so it just makes the green a bit more darker than it should be. And then with the iPhone, it's a bit more realistic color. So now if you go back, take a photo of some here. So we've got some buckets there. 
and some background so both do really good at um, taking pictures at the night um, outside because obviously you got more light and uh, if you wanted to take a video you can see already the difference with the iPhone one and the Samsung you can see more grass details there than the Samsung but obviously with the Samsung one it's a lot more green so if we see that so it's up to you guys which one you guys prefer because obviously Samsung's one is a bit more saturated but some people do prefer that so you can see it actually does look quite nice so there we go But the only thing with the Samsung is that if you are recording, it only gives you a five minute limit of recording 4K videos. No, that's the only thing that I don't actually like about it. So if you want to make a 4K video a bit longer, you have to keep uh, tapping it. But obviously with the iPhone it's unlimited. However much memory you have, that's how much you can record. But um, yeah, so that's um, everything with the photo and video for today's one. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.